Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Recently, Mistral AI's team launched their new coding model named Codestral. It is a 22 billion parameter model that excels in coding. It has fill in the middle capabilities as well as instruct and chat capabilities. It is also trained on 80 plus programming languages. I have a separate video where I go in depth about it. Anyway, it has a ton of features, so it should be a great model for a local coding co-pilot. So, that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be using it to create a custom and local co-pilot for coding. But, we'll also need a good extension to do that. I have already covered Continue Dev on my channel. So, I thought that we should give some other coding assistant a try. And that's what we'll be doing today. I'll be telling you about how we can use it with Twinny. Twinny is a co-pilot alternative that is 100% local and can be used as a VS Code extension. It can be connected with Olima, LM Studio, and much more for local models. You can also connect it with OpenAI compatible models. It's better than Continue Dev in the sense that it does not require very much configuration as it mostly comes pre-configured. It's pretty cool. It also has fill-in-the-middle compatibility, so that's pretty cool. It also gives you a chat interface, so if you want to chat about your code in an interactive way, you can do that as well. So, we'll be using it combined with Codestral. It will be pretty cool to see the results. Anyway, let's get it installed and check it out. First, Go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once it has been installed, go to the models page and choose the Codestral model. Now, copy the command and paste it into your terminal. This will get the model installed. If you'll be using some other model, you can just get that installed instead of this. Anyway, once you run it, it will get installed. Once installed, you'll see this chat interface. Go ahead and send a message and check if it's working. Okay, once that's done, subscribe to my channel. This is a very necessary step. Once that's also done, go to your editor of choice. In my case, it's VS Code. Go to the extensions and search for Twinny. Once you see it, get it installed. Once that's done, you'll see Twinny in your sidebar. Now go ahead and open it. Once you open it, you'll see something like this. Here we can send messages, ask questions, and other such things. But before doing that, click on the provider icon at the top. Now over here, click on the reset option. Once done, over in these dropdowns, you'll see all your Alama models. Go ahead and select the Codestral model in both of these dropdowns. Once you do it, Go back to the main page. Now, over here, click on the robot icon and make sure that the correct model is selected. Once you have confirmed that, send a message. As you can see, we get the response over here. Now, let me tell you about the options it has. First, over at the bottom, you have the auto scroll option, which means when any response is generated, the chat window should auto-scroll or not. Then, you have the Generate Commit Message option. This one is really cool. You can create commit messages for your stage changes from here. Then, you have the Scroll Down to the Bottom option. Then the counter over here is for when you select something in the code. It will tell how many characters you have selected. Then, there's the Model option. Then, over at the top, you have the Model Provider option, which I have already shown you earlier. In this option, you can create your model providers. Then, the next option is Manage Twinny Templates. Here you can see a bunch of templates. These are prompts that you can save and keep using in the chat interface. It's pretty cool. Then, you have the Conversation History. Here you'll see all your conversations. If needed, you can remove the conversations as well from here. Then, 
there's the new chat option. Here you can create new conversations. Then, there's the settings option. Here are a bunch of settings that you can configure. I won't be going into detail, but you can have a look. Now, those were the features, but let's try it out as well. Let's create a new chat here. Let's ask it to create a Python program to add two numbers. Okay, if we send that, you can see we have the code over here. Here, we have three options. The first one is Accept Solution. This will get the code accepted, and then you can get it pasted wherever your cursor is. Then, in the next option, you have the Copy Code option. Then, you have the option to create a new file with this code. Let's hit it. Okay, as you can see, we have the code over here in a file. It's pretty cool. Now, let me also show you the auto completion feature. Here I'm adding a function. As you can see, it gives me the auto completion suggestion. To accept it, just hit tab and your code will be added based on the auto completion. It's pretty cool. Although, in the auto completion, it sometimes adds text as well, which is obviously not needed. So, you might have to remove that. I don't know if this is a model issue or a plugin issue, but anyway, most of the time it works. Another thing that's cool is if you select a piece of code, then right click on it. You'll see a bunch of things you can do with that code through Twinny. Like, you can write tests for it, add types, explain the code, generate docs for the code, or refactor the code. It's pretty cool. Let's use the explain option over here. Okay, as you can see, we get the explanation over here. It's pretty cool. You can also select the code over in your file, and it will be added as context to your prompt. You can see the lines added in the counter over the prompt box as well. Now, if you ask anything like explaining the code or changing the code, it can take that code and get whatever you want it to do. It's pretty cool as well. So, that's how you can make a co-pilot with the new Codestral model with Twinny. This extension is much easier to set up and works well. I really like this one. You can also use it with any OpenAI compatible APIs as well. You should also be able to use it with Grok if you wish to. It's pretty amazing to say the least. This can really make you a pro programmer. But if you want to be an ultra pro programmer like these guys, you can also donate whatever you please to my channel. To do that, click on the super thanks button below this video and select whatever amount you wish to donate and be featured on this ultra pro programmers list. But if you don't want to be on this list and still be an ultra pro programmer, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.